Hi everyone, it's Jody here to do looking on the sign of Leo. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so take what applies. If it applies, you know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. You can still get in on the contest to win a one hour free reading with me, a half hour free reading with me, or a mystery healing box. All you gotta do is make a $5 donation and you are in. Also, check out on uh, Amazon Kindle, Barbara, Reverend Barbara Rose's book, 12 Steps to Spiritual Awareness. All that being said, line hearts. Let's do a reading on a rainy, crappy day in New Hampshire. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is weird. All right, Lion Hearts. Looks like you're going to need patience here. Let's get into it. Bottom of the deck. You've got the six of coins. This is the even exchange of generosity. Lion hearts. You want to make sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving. Vice versa. Let's get into it. Leo, we're going to start off with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Now, this is usually a sentimental offer. Something that comes from the heart that seems to be delayed. And what's crossing to help or hinder, you get the Nine of Pentacles. And this is the I'm good solo card. You know, maybe you own your own business, starting your own business, coming into your financial independence. Why not? Maybe right now you still have time for love, relationship, partnership. You know, that even exchange of give and take. I get the strong feeling that, you know, you're so preoccupied with what's going on around you and trying to, you know, either filter through it or harness it, that maybe your love has to take a back burner. Now, in your foundation, Leo, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the universe giving you an opportunity, see if you take it or not. An opportunity for maybe that new job, that new career, that new business. Something that brings in, you know, money. Or things that have worth and value to you. And I don't think you let this, you know, pass you by, Lionhearts. I think that, you know, the reason why the offer of, <clears throat> excuse me, love isn't, you know, first thing on your mind is because the Ace of Pentacles is the first thing on your mind. You know, and maybe you're thinking, I'll take care of it later. I'll take care of it later. You know, I'll do my part when I get the finances in control. But what's crowning your whole reading here, Leo, is the Two of Swords. Indecisiveness, turning a blind eye, maybe not wanting to see the truth. You might not have all the info you need to make a decision. And you're guarding yourself. Hold on, Leo. Lionhearts, you might be too focused on your career or outside elements. And Lionhearts, if you're thinking that you'll take care of, you know, a relationship later, don't wait too long. 
this person might not hang around. In other words, don't push it so far back, you know, and make somebody wait. Now, somebody could be doing this to you, Leo, and, you know, just like, you know, heck with this. I'm going to do me. But remember, Lionhearts, somebody could be thinking this of you and might not want to wait. If you're pushing something back, you know, I'll get to, a, you know, I'll get to that person later or, you know, I'll go out to dinner with them, you know, later or... Don't push it back too long, Lionhearts. In your recent past, you have the Eight of Swords, the self-imposed mind prison that you put yourself in. You overthink something. One negative thought turns into another one. And again, Leo, I think that you're so jammed up, you know, about trying to harness an outside situation that you're not giving yourself or a partner, a potential partner, a friendship or whatever, the time and attention that it needs. Because I think you're driven in another direction. So going into your future, you've got the King of Swords. Now, this could be, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. This person is very direct, very precise. Do not come at him, at him with BS because he's going to see it a mile away. He's only going to ag agitate him. Can't speak now. Okay, this is somebody who usually has some sort of standing. You know, it could be a lawyer, a doctor, CEO of a company. He has status. He didn't get there by being a schmuck. Now, Leo, either this is your energy or you're dealing with a air-like person, okay, that all of a sudden just seems kind of cold. That warm, fuzzy feeling just doesn't seem to be apparent. Again, this could be you or this could be somebody you're dealing with. And again, I, Leo, it goes back to, you know, if you push somebody aside you know, long enough, and all of a sudden you're like, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll give them a call. They're going to be like, oh, really? Click. And you're going to be like, dang. You know, I ain't doing anything to this person. Exactly. You didn't. Just saying. Now, how people see you in your environment, Lionhearts, they see you as the queen of coins. Known as a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but somebody who's well-grounded, practical, methodical, see things how it really is, good with their coin, grounded. So people see you as this calm energy. Like you get it all going on. You know, like you have it all in control. Lionhearts. But it's a pretty good show, Leo. Because in your environment, you have the four of coins. Now, some people say it's a miser card, you know. Somebody's keeping something to themselves. Yeah, they are. They're keeping their feelings to themselves. In the medieval cat tarot, see if you can see that. He's got something in the lock and key here. Ain't nobody going to find it. Ain't nobody going to know about it. Leo, if you feel like you're the one that got put on a back burner, and you're not saying something, I've never known a lion not to roar. Or, Lionhearts, this is the other person. You know, maybe they're giving you attitude. You don't know why, because they're keeping it to themselves. They want you to figure it out. They want you to figure out, Lionhearts, that it's either you or the other person is not giving up their time. They put something else, you know, in front of you or you have to another person. In your hopes and fears, you get the Knight of Coins. 
Now, yeah, he's the slowest one of all of them, but he's the bringer of the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. And again, Lionheart, if an opportunity has been brought to you and, you know, and you're trying to make this, you know, the best it can be and putting your all into it, don't forget about that other person. Your cheerleader, your support unit, you know, the person that's got your back. Because I think somebody here is feeling a little neglected. Now, as you're hoping, you know, for this opportunity to, you know, have something tangible and work out, don't forget about the other person, Leo. Your outcome card is a chariot. Now, this is moving forward with victory and success. But you're going to rein those two, those two horses in. Hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. Your head, your heart. You get them both working together. My hearts, you go anywhere. But I feel drawn to tell you that there's only one person in that chariot. Leo, don't get so caught up. And everything going on around you, you know, to try to, you know, harness it. That the real person who supports you, you know, your cheerleader, is feeling a little left out. If this, if those two horses are you and another person, and you work together at this in a compromise, then you both go places. So, Leo, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.